Hey everybody, Sean here from Crafted Catastrophes. We've made some recent modifications to our printers to make them a little bit more efficient because we've made a few changes to the studio. Not only have we minimalized a few things and made an extra room for our filament storage, but we added a new printer and that's the Creality K2 Plus. So we have a larger form factor now to print on so we can do the larger helmets and stuff. Our ELF-1 and ELF-2 and ELF-3 now are color coordinated and Clay and Mandy have ELF-1 at their house. But ELF 2 and 3, now that the changes are occurring, my wife and I are sitting at our workstations, it's just easier to see which AMS is going to which printer. We haven't made the mistake, but, you know, it's easy to do and it's less confusing. Not only do we color coordinate it, but we use it as an opportunity to make a few adjustments to make them a little bit more efficient per everyone's minor complaints to the X1 Carbon and the P1S. With the X1 Carbon and the P1S, we printed some new handles and we printed some new Z-axis covers for the printers and some filament cutters that cover the, the back tray. Those were the minor changes. The major changes actually went to the AMSs where we printed some desiccate trays that match those particular printers. And also we did some filament feeders that are very much like the Creality K2 Plus, which is a great, great idea that they came up with that we added now and it seems to be working terrific because you know that sometimes the filament can get overlapping and then it'll get stuck and then you got to walk up here and just move it over a little bit and then boom it'll start printing again so far we haven't had to worry about that so that is one of the best changes for this now some of them you may not need think that they're necessary, but they are visually, and they're just, they're nicer to look at too. So if you like these modifications, please make sure that you subscribe to our channel at Crafted Catastrophes for more hints and tips, and we'll see you over there.